Um, so, started on the brakes of the skitter and uh, got the drum off. That was a pain in the butt. Had like over an eighth of an inch of a lip on there, maybe even more. And uh, everything's like, I think, I'm assuming these are adjustments. I tried moving, I couldn't even budge this thing. Um, there's one on either side. I had to fight it and fight it and fight it. Anyways, um, got the drum off, got the shoes off. The shoes, I don't know how thick they're supposed to be. There's probably an eighth of an inch left um, and a up to a quarter inch in spots. Um, the, uh, here's, here's the cylinder. I don't know if you can see in, the, in my phone, but it is froze. Copper line, so I'm put copper on there. Um, I don't know what part number it is yet. I'm going to see if I can make it out. It's, it's going to go to Napa here pretty soon. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't hardly read it. Anyways, I'll go to Napa today and see if I can get another one. I, uh, just for kicks, I painted the drum powder puff blue. Um, I turned it at work. The, the, uh, I called the local, I don't know what it is, uh, not Les Schwab's. Anyways, tire shop, and they wanted 45 bucks to turn this drum. I thought, shoot. So I just chucked up in the lathe and turned it. Um, this is the middle drive shaft. Just painted it just because the front one's still at work. I gotta weld it up. Got U joints in the car for it though. So here's the here's the shoes. See, there's some some life in them still, but if I have it all apart, I might as well spend the money. I'm gonna go to it's not Ott's Friction Supply in Portland. It's I think it's Potter Webster or something like that now. So. Um, that's where we're at. I got the skitter split. Much harder than it looks to roll this thing back. But um, everything's cleaned up, ready for the new. Um, they're my car, but the spherical bearings that go in there. This one's welded. I haven't. I can't see the light. So you can see. No, you can't see. I started grinding it. I welded it up. It was pretty bad. Um, gonna go to Woods Logging and have them make me all new hydraulic hoses for this half inch. I think this is pipe. It's old. But, um, the nice thing, the cool thing about Clark that I'm just really impressed, at least on this skitter, I don't know if Clark it themselves, but every hose is made with this, um, reusable ends. I'm not gonna use them. I'm gonna have everything to crimp on done, like this one. But I'm gonna keep all these. I like that. Every hose is the same length. Um, to be seen here. These are my blade, these two down here, these are my blade cylinder uh, fr uh, hoses. Everything's the same length. I love it. And uh, so I made a new, this is what this replaced. Oops, sorry. This is what this replaced. You can see I sandblasted it and there's just, it's just nothing left. This is what pushes into my, um, master cylinder for the brakes so I took a piece of drill rod it's a half inch so I did a half inch to about 13 thread took a piece of key st or hex stock drilled it threaded one in loctited it I'm gonna weld it and then uh, this is 7 16 20 odd size that's what they used um, I painted it just to look cool and uh, I'm gonna bring the light over here and I'll show you the master cylinder only place I could get it was was Napa. I hit all the auto parts stores, the O'Reilly's, cost less, and uh, there it is. And uh, of course, I painted it powder puff blue. I figured if I had everything out, I might as well paint it so it looks halfway nice. But uh, so hopefully this week I'll round up get everything finished or at least on the brakes and then um, 
my parents are trying to sell their house, so this weekend I'm not going to be able to uh, put it back together because um, I'm going to be helping them paint. But um, you know, and this, these houses have seen better days. They're who knows how old. But um, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update on uh, how the triple six is coming along. My dog wants to say hi. You want to say hi? <laughs> yeah. Yep, she's my best friend. But, uh, the radiators, I took this off. I don't see the radiators cricket in there. It's been beat up. I took it off so I can get to that front. I can see my phone. That front pin's hanging in there. And, uh, Someone tried, they tried putting, this is the front of the skater, and they tried jamming that pin in with something, and they bent on the back side where the pin goes through, it comes through, comes through two tabs, and then in the middle here is the, where the cradle rides, and that back one's bent out like that, and they, so the pin won't slide through. So I'm going to have to try to heat it up, bend it back best I can. I made new, a new longer pin for that one and uh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. But that's why I actually got this off, this cover off, is so I can get in there and try to work on that when I put the front drive line in. And then of course when I, before I put it back on, I'll, it, it looks worse. It's worse than it is in the phone. It's, ah, can't hardly see it, but it's mangled. See here if I can get an angle where you can see the camera makes everything look nice. But uh, you can see it's all butchered with weld and it. Ah, I'll put it in the press, straighten it. But um, so let's see if there's any other updates. I don't think so. Um, that's you again. So, um, yeah, that's uh. And of course, everything in the shop's a mess. <laughs> That's another project is clean up this place. So, anyways, uh, like, subscribe. Um, oh, oh, crap. Almost forgot. My latest project I'm kind of proud of. It was kind of fun making it. It wasn't nothing, I'll get the light. Nothing critical. Just, it needed it. And... I had some scrap, and of course powder puff blue, don't, don't laugh, made a uh, battery tray in here, countersunk the holes so they set flush, and uh, it's just dirty, but uh, it's a 3 8 all thread, I drilled and tapped the plate, and then screwed, uh, threaded the all thread in it, then I put a 3 8 nut over it, and tacked the nut, and uh, what are those flange? nuts or whatever they're called, I had them sitting around, put them in and just took a piece of channel and my bandsaw and cut it. This is a battery, this Duracell battery. And uh, drilled some 3 8 holes in it and it sits like that and the whole thread comes through it. So, um, alright, yep, that's it. So, like I was getting to earlier, like, su subscribe and Feel free to comment. I love comments. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks.